morning welcome back to my channel this is another vlog and i'll be going out right now my mom sent me some stuff from the village see you guys the moment this whole corotin happened my mom <laughs> my mom <laughs> carried her uh let me call them foster children okay she carried her foster children and my younger brother and fled to the village okay so she has been in the village um, all this while going to three months now she's enjoying herself there my dad did not live with her because he had some things to do then but later i think he kind of regretted not living with her because when everywhere was now locked down he couldn't even do the work that he was doing but i think everything is now returning back to normal so my mom has been in the village and she has been wanting to send me stuff for the longest time she didn't even know that transport companies were you know transporting stuff so she eventually found out that they are working so she sent me some stuff i'm going to pick it up now they haven't called me yet but hopefully very soon they'll call me so that i can go and pick up my stuff it's a beautiful day out here everywhere is quiet everywhere is peaceful the place we're going to is near cold stone so if the driver is not yet there, I'll just take them to Coldstone and just I'll just go and get ice cream for them for at Coldstone. I don't think that we'll enter there. I'll just go and get ice cream for them. That's if there is if the driver is not there already. Eva, say hi. Hi. <laughs> Mommy. Yes. Mommy, when I grow up, I will be an ice cream shop. You will have an an ice cream shop. Yes, I'll buy. Chocolate, chocolate ice cream, mm -hmm. a banana ice cream, mm -hmm. strawberry ice cream, mm -hmm. and green ice cream. Okay, that's apple. Mm -hmm. Okay, and oh, apple. Mint. Okay. And a lot of flavors. I get to put a tall one. Okay. So you're going to be selling ice cream? Yes. Mm. Will you sell to me? Yes. Or you give me for free? Yes, I'll give you free now. Yes, you give me for free because I'm your mother. But you sell to Amarachi. <laughs> don't do Amarachi for free. <laughs> mommy, mommy. Yes. In Los. Mommy, mommy. Los ice cream. And I don't go to Eva, what? Huh? I need flowers. You need flowers. Flowers for what? Flowers, flowers. So, anyway, I'm at Cold Stone now. But I am not going to carry these children in with me. I'm seeing yeah. children playing around inside, but I don't even understand. I cannot, yes. I can't, I can't. They all have their mask and everything, but I just I can't. So Cora, no. I will go and buy the ice cream and bring here, okay? I want to eat it inside. No, there's coronavirus. So I'll just go inside now, buy ice cream. I'll just buy one because these children they're always disgracing me when I buy ice cream for them. Including a manachi, be using time and be laughing. After I spend my money, <laughs> buy ice cream, finish. They will not lick it. Anyway, so guys, I bought ice cream for them. I've 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 matured though. I've matured because I, I bought ice cream for my kids without buying for myself. <laughs> the fear of fat is the beginning of wisdom. So it was before I would have bought one big one for myself with all the toppings and everything, but this time I just bought for them. Um, but I also ordered for chicken wings and that small pizza. I can't wait. My mom packed a lot of things for me. Just food stuff. Oh. She packed food stuff, fruits, pears. She was even asking me, should she add ugu? Should she add? I was like, no, no. <laughs> we have those ones here. It's not like we don't have all these things here. We have them. But since she went to send to me, the major thing that I really wanted from her was oil. She, she sent original, authentic village oil for me. Um, what else again she said she was going to send? She sent a goosey that she peeled by herself. <laughs> uh, what else? Anyway, when I get the package, I'm going to show you guys all the things that she put inside. So, I can't wait to receive them. Uh, but yeah, people should just be enjoying your ice cream while I, I stay here and think about my life. <laughs> hey guys, so, in fact, the drama that we went through today just to collect my stuff. I was I called the guy. The guy okay, the guy told me that he was going to call me when he gets to Port Harcourt. I waited, waited, waited for almost an hour at Domino's. We were inside the car though. Waited and then the guy did not call me. So I called the guy again. Then he now told me that oh that he's there, I should come there. The place they even directed me to one one kind of coral like this. What they call coral. One corner corner like this place. So yeah. 
But anyway, why I even picked up this camera, you guys, this whole corona thing is like it's rich people's problem. It is enlightening people's problem. Hmm? Because where I went to to go and carry my stuff, nobody was with mask, nobody was social distancing, nobody in fact, in fact, they were in a world of their own. I was just like, wow, wow. <laughs> Like, you know how people are saying, oh, wear your mask, don't do this, sanitize your hands, blah, blah, blah. Where I went to, and mind you, the crowd that there was much because people were offloading stuff, picking up stuff, you know, putting stuff in place, arranging, different kind of things, were, different kind of activities were going on there. No single one person was wearing a mask. No single one person was, you know, you know keeping social distance or whatever. They were just mingling and inter intertwining with each other. <laughs> so just mingling and intermingling with each other. Just like, wow, that's very interesting. All right, guys. So these are the stuff that my mom brought and my mom sent. Wow, this oil is big. Oh. Let me what? see. Oh, my Jesus. <laughs> it's big. Yes, okay, okay, let me carry it. You can carry it, Clara. It's tiny. It's that's big. Oh. It is it's like 10 liters. It's it, 10 liters. It is the giant thing I ever seen. Hey, bring out the pier. And this is the mango. This is this. Cora, go and bring the bowl and pack the mango. The bowl. Bowl, go and bring a bowl. A bowl? Yes. Oh, this. I told Cora to bring a bowl <laughs> to put all these mangoes. This is what Cora brought for me. Ekora. Yes, I want that one. I need to put the mangoes. Mangoes are plenty. Ah, the mangoes. I think it's only you that were giving mango. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put the strong ones here. I put the soft ones here. Okay. 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 Oh, I'm like, see, I'm saying this one is soft, so it's yeah, take. Take this now, put the mangoes. Okay. Just. I'm putting right this one. No, 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 keep that one there. Keep the pear there. Is this mangoes you bring out? Oh, the mangoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where's my favorite? Cora, you get easily distracted. Bring that oh. mango, Yaji. Favorite, this one is soft. That is my favorite. Oh, she even gave us um, coconuts. That's good. Yes. Yes, coconuts I like. You like coconuts? <laughs> yes, I like coconuts. You, when they get coconuts, you eat. Yes, I eat. You, you eat coconuts. Yes, I eat coconuts. Mm. How did this coconuts is so heavy? <laughs> oh, my Jesus, I can bring coconuts. And don't do be. Okay. Mommy. Hmm? Mommy, can I put the coconuts? And uh, where and uh, where shall I put the coconuts? Where shall I? Mommy, I shall I keep it. this thing here? Yeah, uh, you can keep it there, shall we? Oh! You don't throw it, just keep it. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh! Oh mommy, what are these? Oh, she made dresses for you too. For me? Yes. For you, for Ava. I know this one is a Marachi. Marachi has this one. For Marachi. Oh, this one, this dress is beautiful. Let me see. This is a Marachi. Eh? Me, my hand is not there. You should not make me jealous. Eh? Lots of a goosey. She peeled this one herself. Wow. So guys, I'm so happy. You guys should help me thank my mom. This oil, I'm really, really happy for this oil because if you know red oil very well, you know that there is a difference between some oils and the authentic Igbo Anambra oil. Okay. What? yam and oil loading potato and oil loading plantain and oil loading and and soups and other and other that reminds me i didn't tell you guys that cora cut her hair 
I, that's why I made her hair this way. This place like this, Conrad used scissors when her hair was not made. Come, let me show them. When her hair was not made, Conrad took scissors and cut her hair like this. So, turn, turn like this. So, the reason why people cannot see it now is because the hair is now growing back. But the hair here is literally like an inch long or something. She cut her hair like this with scissors. So, what's your favorite YouTube channel? My favorite YouTube channel is Ryan. Ryan. Ryan reviews toys. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Ryan? Because Ryan is so smart. Ryan is so smart. That's why you like Ryan? Yes. Okay. Which other channel do you like to watch? I also like Barbie. Barbie? Mm -hmm. Why do you like Barbie? Because Barbie loves dresses. Because she loves dresses? Yes. You've not called mommy's channel? Eh? You didn't call my channel. You don't know I have a channel. Yes. Mm -hmm. You like watching my channel? Yes. Why do you like watching my channel? Because, because your channel is so amazing. Yes, my channel is so amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey, you guys heard her. She said my channel is so amazing. So you guys go and subscribe. You're not already subscribed. Though. Go and subscribe for more amazing content coming your way. Okay? Tell them to subscribe. Subscribe. Hey guys. So good afternoon. You guys, I think I'm going to take <laughs> another break from social media. Social media, not YouTube or whatever, but I mean from scrolling on Instagram, on Twitter, because I have just been annoying myself in the past few days. Like, I've just been getting myself worked up in the past few days because I see a lot of things on the internet and I'm just like, why are people like this? If any of you don't know, Hi, my name is Adeze and on my channel, I do not go by what everybody says or everybody does. Like, I'm not one of those people who jump on bandwagons or try to be like everyone else. I'm not. Okay? I only do things that co I'm convicted about. I only say things that I have done my research about and I agree with. Okay? That is why I always say I do not call myself a feminist. Even though a lot of my sentiments, you know, align with feminist sentiments. I do not call myself a, a feminist. I don't call myself anything. Apart from, apart from being a Christian, apart from following Christ, that's all. The rest, all of you can keep your labels to yourself. I don't need any labels for me to feel among, among a group or whatever. Anyway, so my, the point I'm trying to make is this. About this whole, you know, issue that is going on in the world, about, um, I don't want to call the name, about the ones that are happening, especially in Nigeria. We know what is happening in Nigeria. Um... You know, I even did a video about how women should protect themselves and that is because I don't want to feel like a victim. The only way me I see that we can move forward, you know, is by us learning how to protect ourselves. I'm not saying evil will not happen in this world, but, you know, learn how to protect yourself because evil is not about to stop. It's going to get worse. I keep saying this and people will think it's a joke. It's about to get worse. It's not like, it's not by saying, say no to rape, uh, uh, teach your boys not to rape. Uh -uh. It's not by that one. No matter how you teach from today to tomorrow, it's not going to change much. Okay, it's not going to change much because most of these people who commit such acts, they know that what they are doing is wrong. They are not doing it because, oh, they were not taught not to you know take advantage of women and most of them and how i and why i say they know what they're doing is wrong is because when they come and they get accused in public they all deny it okay when they are accused in public they deny it if they didn't know what they're doing is wrong they would have said uh uh yes now nah, i forced her now because she didn't want it now so i just felt like forcing her no they didn't even the ones that make that made jokes about it or make posts about it before come out now and still deny that they were only joking it was not real they were just say you know they're just trying to be funny what what i wanted to rant about in this video is this okay let us stop making this issue number one a tribal issue that's one that that is scattering my brain some people out there as in their sense is telling them that it is Igbo men that are guilty of this thing. I'm just like, are you, are you, are you, are you okay? As in some people are actually out there saying that this thing is an Igbo men issue. That is Igbo men that do it a lot. And I'm not joking. Go on Twitter. It has not turned to a tribal war. You're saying that a particular tribe in Nigeria is responsible for all the cases that we have in Nigeria. 
Wow! It is not a tribal issue at all. It is just a human issue. And I say it's a human issue because that brings me to number two points. It is not a men issue. Okay, let us not make it look as if men were born, all men are, you know, rapists. Let's not, let's not, make, it, let's not make it that. Because the moment you make it a, a, um, a gender war, you have lost the battle because we need men on our side okay yes i know when my last video i was saying it that oh i've blocked the men on my channel so we can talk that's because i wanted us to focus on you know the female aspect of it for in that video and even in that video i still try to mention and let people know that this thing is not just a a, a, a women issue it's not, like, it's not only women that are victims of it okay i still mentioned it there, even though yes the video was about how women can protect themselves because i'm a woman so i can only talk from my experience as a woman and what i feel you know work for us as women okay now it, if you make it a gender issue and you now isolate men who are supposed to be on our side fighting side by side with us it's going to get worse for you that is just the truth okay we need them to fight with us side by side that's the only way we can win the war to an extent because like i said it's gonna get worse so you have to just go and protect yourself and in this country <laughs> you can't win the, the war by making them apologize for what they're not guilty of or by trying to paint all of them black okay because last time i checked a lot of men are still involved in this fight i didn't see when this whole thing started when we started all this justice for one all that i didn't see men in their house just holding their arms sleeping many of them were on social media even tweeting more than the women okay if in a case of where a molester is caught in public who are the ones that actually go and lynch the molesters it's not women it's actually men that think about themselves to go and lynch and even kill molesters even before police gets there yes we know that men okay are guilty of it more when it comes to statistics we have more men who are doing this than women at least according to statistics of people who have come out to you know report or talk about it or cases that we've heard we know about more men than women i understand that okay but what i will not understand is when you now try to make it look like men are the problem with the world and women are angels and that brings me to the third point okay or is it the fourth point whatever anyway i see people also telling men now is not the time to come and talk about not all men or now is not the time to come and talk about men get get molested and raped too now is not the time to come and talk about your own struggles because it is not a competition i see that comment a lot everywhere i'm just like oh wow 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 let me paint this scenario for you okay mr s and mrs s and i s here represents society okay so mr s and mrs s are married and they have two children okay so they have Junior and they have Jane, okay? Now, Jane comes to meet Daddy and Mommy. Daddy and Mommy S and says, Daddy, I was just raped or I was raped, you know, by this guy, by this boy, by this man. And then the father and mother are like, what? You were raped? Oh my God. What happened? Where is he? Bring him out. Burn things down. You know, deal with him. Kill him. Get rid of him, you know, look for that man and destroy him. Like, what? Daddy is looking for him to kill. Mom is looking for him to, to identify. No, daddy is looking for him to kill. Everybody is, is, you know, agitated. And then, while everybody is fighting for justice for Jane, then Junior comes and says, Dad, Mom, I too, I was actually a victim. I was actually raped. I was actually assaulted too. And then, Mommy turns to Junior and is like, Yes, dude, can you read the room? Like, can't you see that we are here talking about your sister? Why are you coming with your own issues? Like, why don't you relax? It's not a competition, okay? Why don't you wait until when we are done with talking about um, Jane's issues, which we, don't, we, we never actually stop talking about, but whenever we are done, then you can now, on your own time, come and talk about your own. But don't come now that we're talking about your sister and come and bring up your own too as well because right now it's not a competition. You're just trying here to come and, you're just coming here to try and deflect from, from Jane's issues. You're just here. After all, the person that raped Jane is a boy too and you're also a boy. So how do you know that you're not even guilty yourself? How do you know that you're not even a rapist yourself? So don't even come here and talk because all men are guilty. And then everybody's like, hey, 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 please, 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 please move aside, I beg. It's not your time. Well, on your own time, when we're we done talking about Jane, then you can you cannot come and talk about your own does that make sense how would you feel if you are that child how would you feel if you are junior how would you feel if you were a parent standing aside just looking at that family what would you think about the family so why if this is not normal if, if it's not acceptable if it is scary to think of 
why are we trying to shut men down when they also bring up their cases? I remember one day, I when I saw this thing, I was just like, oh my god, like, the double standard is real, man. There was a case where a boy came out on social media to talk about how he was assaulted by his girlfriend, physically assaulted by his girlfriend. And in the comment section, people were like, look at this one, what is he saying? I even saw somebody that I know that is a feminist. It's always on social media, feminist this, feminist that, feminist this. Someone that says she's a feminist went under that comment section and was telling the guy that his story is fabricated, that is a lie. There's a video that Marina Essiri made. She's um, an amazing YouTuber. You guys should go and check her out. I'll link her video in the description box where she talked about the future is not female, okay? The future should not be female or something like that, okay? And I was, I, I, was, I was like, yes, I agree with that video, okay? As far as I'm concerned, the future is human. The future is human. The struggle is human, okay? The fight is human. Evil is human. So you cannot try, you cannot make it one side or the other. Evil is human, okay? So, anyway, I didn't want to rant too much, but uh, as usual, whenever I start talking about issues like this, I don't need to have break. Like, I can talk for hours. Please do not make this a tribal issue. Do not make it a, 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 a race issue. Do not make it a gender issue. Do not make it a war against anybody okay the war should be against rapists it should be against those who commit their atrocities it should be against criminals that is where the war should be that is what we should focus on and also while we're on this topic rather than just hashtagging things on the internet and just talking about oh teach boys not to raise boys not to raise boys raise, raise boys no it's good i understand that part okay but let's not stop there because for me right now, I'm not, I'm not even about teaching people how not to teach people. No, I'm not about that. I'm about catching people. I'm about putting things in place that will help us catch perpetrators. About DNA, about crime scene investigations, fingerprints database and, and DNA database. I'm all about street cameras. I'm all about CCTV in all establishments. Imagine if that church had a CCTV camera, okay? I'm all about CCTV in all establishments. I'm all about stricter more intense punishments for rapists. I'm all about public lynching. Yes, I'm not saying that you should go and keep it. I'm talking about those who have been caught and be tried. We should pub they should publicly air their execution. <laughs> you know, I know this is very unchristian of me to say, but to be honest, I just feel like that's the way forward. Okay, God can still touch their lives while they're in jail or you know before they are killed or whatever. But I'm just saying, if there is a public show. You know, that all rapists that are caught are going to face this kind of end, it will deter some. It's not about teach them not to teach them not to. It's not about many of them know the right thing. It's not like nobody no, it's not like they don't know the right thing. They know. They know what they're doing is wrong. Okay. So I'm all about let us find, let us push our government to make the world safer for us. Like I said, you cannot eradicate all these things because even in countries where they have all these things, it still happens. But at least, eh, eh, at least when it happens there, we know that ah. This person is either the person who will not get away with it or even the person gets away with it one day the long arm of the law cut up with the person or something we know that one in nigeria we're only hoping for karma and uh, and shango to come and uh, uh, strike the person that's all we're hoping for in nigeria no i don't want that <sighs> anyway you guys <laughs> i've talked enough for Anyway, guys, let me go and show you guys the outfits that my mom sis sent. When she came the last time, she made two dresses for Cora and Ava. I think I'll show you guys the dresses in this video. And then she took their measurement, took Amarachi's measurement, and she went back and made some casual dresses for Amarachi and um, the kids as well, but more for Amarachi. She just sent clothes for Amarachi. So I want Amarachi to try it on. I'm going to video it and send to Mom C, but I'll add the clips to this vlog as well. Uh, yeah, so you guys should come along for our mini hall not hall whatever fashion parade <laughs> anyway let's go
mine. It has a uh, stones on it. So guys, those are all the dresses and that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video even though we didn't do much but I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.